Hello and welcome to the instrument at Vale Methodist Church in Tunbridge Wells. Um, we've got quite an extensive instrument here. Um, that's the pedal division coming into the swell division. It's been altered and enlarged by Hill, Milne and Beard in the late 1960s and actually done really rather well. Very good for English congregational singing and really quite, a, quite versatile for a good deal else. The stop fascia um, is covered in... Um, it almost is like a car dashboard of the 1960s. But, you know, when one's playing this, it's so very easy to come up here and simply flick on an octave or sub-octave or unison off or something like that. It's a really convenient um, ergonomic console, despite it looking um, quite horrible. It's not really horrible, it's just that we regard the 1960s as a period which we don't like very much. On number six, it's well set up for a bark, so we'll press swell to grate and um, um, see how it goes. exciting for other sort of wedding stuff and so let's put the um, needs on um, and um, swell to pedal fine yes does this quite happily <laughs> French block. It doesn't have a clarinet or um, cremon or um, oboe, but um, one's got a good grandeur on the um, swell, and one's got a good um, swell to pedal, great to pedal, and one's got enough uh, harmonics here to um, synthesize a clarinet by using a jadeturs. Um, so we'll probably go for that. So let's see what this does.
very beautifully. Um, um, let's take a right. Um, change this into perhaps more of a corne. That fifteenth is too piercing perhaps. But let's try. using the principle to Let's try it with a planter. Um, so we'll put that fifteenth in. Um, we'll use the smallest, the middle open diapason and the Gadex um, um, mixture. Flute, Jim Sean, opened our Paisen and Flute, and let's give that a go and see what it does. Um, swell to great. Well, let's you have the 16 for swell. <laughs> Um, we'll use the 
we'll use the um, trumpet and con pian on the swell. <laughs> extended. Same pipe. So we've got an extension on the pedal. And this is why the pedal organ perhaps isn't quite as um, uh, prominent. We've got an extension on the board on as well. Super octave. Extension. We've got trombone and trumpet. So that's extended. Now, is that the same as this? Yes. So the pedal reeds are extended from there. Um, well, board on. Up in diapason. Clear foot. Celeste works very well with a clear flute. Jem Sean. Is 
so that's a different stop. We've got the piccolo. Mixture. Contra oboe. Is this the corporate conopian? No. So that's a rank of stops, so we've got the contra oboe. got opened our paisen. Second one. Third one. So the difference between the three. We've got Lively Gadet. Principal one. Principal two. Harmonic flute. Trumpet and Clarion derived from the swell. Um, let's go through all the stops and do a, a chord. Bordon 16 on swell, open diapason, clear flute, solitional, with brass celeste, as the brass celeste alone, as the brass celeste with the as the gem shawn, piccolo, mixture, contra oboe, corner pin, trumpet. Um, on the grate, open diapason 1, open diapason 2, open diapason 3, Leibliger Dax, Principal, Principal, Harmonic Flute, Twelfth, Fifteenth, Chess, Trumpet, Clown. I have half a feeling that these stop knobs actually look like ivory. So, that's everything at the console. Let's go and have a look at the instrument. Quite an impressive beast. So these are the metal opens. Um, they've been bearded at some stage, so perhaps they've been put under a higher pressure to get their um, the volume out of them. There's a humidification unit here. And when we come around the front, the instrument has here where the console used to be, and here are the um, here are the enchamade reeds. Um, Somebody I heard or recently referred to some enchamades as party horns. Well, 
They do remind one of car hooters, the great fun. Inside the instrument, here we've got bellows unit. It's a bit dark, I'm afraid. Um, pneumatic motors here, they're in good condition. Um, these are the wood opens. We've got, presumably, extra, um, extra um, wind reservoirs for different wind pressures. Um, here we come inside the instrument, and over here we have um, the electronics. Um, over there the swell, up there the swell shutters. Um, and here we've got a lot of um, flexible piping. That's lead. Some of these have been replaced by um, um, uh, corrugated cardboard type things um, to um, uh, display pipes, which are obviously actually in use. And then here we've got uh, the bottom rank of Enchimard. And we've got extra mixtures, uh, whichever they are, I can't tell without an assistant. The blower is here, it makes rather noise, it should be put in another place. Oh, there's, our, there's some of our mixture, and um, that's another section of mixture there. So those are obviously the two repeating sections. That looks as though that's arranged as a four rank. Uh, yes, that's four ranks, um, and that's a three rank, and probably there's a two rank section at the top or something like that. One presumes swell and great wind res reservoirs separately here. Um, here we've got the sliders for the swell. That looks as though that might be the, oh, that's a regulation box. And then at the back we've got a rank of pedal open woods and bottom rank of 16-foot corner pins, or is that the 16-foot that's the oboe, I think. Um, these are the, now the way around the other side, um, we can see here the pneumatic action to the um, pedal pipes. That's the um, open wood there, the 16-foot, and here we've got the back of the display pipes of the 16 foot open diapason or metal diapason. Taking a peep inside, that's presumably the swell and the great wind's chests. There's the back of the swell box. So one obviously has to take these pipes out in order to get at that. It's a very competent instrument, although the pedal department could do to be more beefy.